Hi guys, welcome back. I've got my festive uh, super bright Technicolor leggings on today and we're celebrating because summer is here and we are going to get wasted. That's right, we're sculpting out a nice defined hourglass waist. So this routine is all about the obliques. You do not need any equipment, just your mat. So go ahead, throw it down and come get wasted with me. Here we go. So you're going to start here on the knees. Knees are about hip distance apart, navel is drawing in. I want you to just take the hands onto the hips, sit halfway back, and you're just gonna take a little hip, dip side to side. So just a little pop and pop, keeping shoulders down. If the knees are a real concern here, I would either, well, first of all, I would put a little extra padding under them. You can also stay a little bit higher here. You could even stay all the way up, just do that same little motion. So you don't have to go super, super extreme with it, but I want you to think of keeping the navel drawn in nice and tight. This is where it all begins. So we're just waking it up a little bit, waking up those muscles. Also getting the quads, which gives a little extra fat burn. And if you want to progress, arms up above the head, keep going there. So a little extra weight on it, still just rocking it side to side. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Good. Give it a little shake out there. So let's just do a little warm up still. I want you to step one foot out to the side. Make sure that foot is in line with the opposite knee. Toes are pointing forward. So foot is parallel to the edge of the mat. Knee is straight. Arms out to the side here. Inhale, you're just gonna take a little dip, keeping arms long. Exhale, bring it back up. So this is your first little starting position here. If you want to just go right into the progression, you've done this a time or two, arms up above the head, lean, exhale, lift up. So keep those legs solid, hip bones pointing toward me. You don't wanna be opening up to the side, opening up that hip. That's not an oblique move anymore if you're doing that. So keep it in the obliques. Really think of lengthening as you reach there as well. So I don't want you to just dip low. I want you to reach. So imagine where the wall is meeting the ceiling. Reach for something there. A few more here. Really just drawing that navel in tighter and tighter for four. Three, two, hold it on one here for five, four, three, two, one. Drop that bottom hand down right underneath the shoulder. So don't have it too close or too far. It's directly underneath the shoulder. You can spin that back foot around a little bit. Hand is going to reach up overhead. You're going to open up the hip now, knee to elbow, touch it long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Reach it long, so nice little crunch here if you can't quite reach the knee. Again, there's always, there's always something to progress toward, so don't worry about it. Just go as intense as you can right now, and then keep doing it. Let the intensity build. Give me five more here. Here's three, two, and last one. Extend it long. Arm is going to go straight up. You could do all of these with a weight too. So if this is your second or third time doing it, grab a weight, make it a little harder. So foot either touching down for the modification or for the full thing. Leg comes up, put a little bend in that top elbow. You're just going to reach through. So twist, hold that balance, reach it back up. I actually love doing this one with a weight. Maybe I've done it with a weight in one of my other routines. <laughs> Possibly. But it's also totally fine to go weightless. Keep that leg as high and as long as you can. Just find that balance here for four. 
and three. Two and one. Now I want you to step that foot down. So you're either going to come into a modified side plank here by just shifting that bottom knee out so you make like a triangle here, or you're going to kick it up to the full side plank. So if you are in that modified side plank, I want you to just reach, take a big circle, reaching for that ankle, bring it back around. So it's just that nice little circular motion. If you are up on the feet, you're gonna pike the butt up, reach, touch ankle, back to side plank. So a little reach, back to side plank. So top foot will just stack in front. Hopefully you're not sliding. If you are, take a second. <laughs> Find a nice stable place. Give me four more here. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Hold that side plank for four, three, two, one. Go ahead, bring it down. Shake out that wrist, shake out that shoulder. Let's flip sides here. So opposite foot extends long here. Again, keep in line, hip bones like tail lights pointing toward me, arms out to the side. Inhale, touch, exhale, pull up. So it's like there's just a little hook behind your navel giving you that tug up. And if you wanna progress, if you're feeling ready, arms up above the head, length over dipping really low. So reach it long, 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 long. Keep those shoulders in line with the ears. Maintain that nice tuck and keep it controlled. So with strength moves, slow is better. If you're going cardio, if you're going hit, of course, go as fast as you can. But with strength, slow is better. So just keep that in mind with these strength workouts. Go for four. Final two. Hold your last one. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Take that bottom hand down. Adjust here if you wanna wrap that foot around. Arm up overhead, inhale, exhale, knee to elbow and reach. And if you want to progress, again, if you've done this video a time or two, you are going to go with a floating leg there. So it gets a little bit more of the outer thighs as well. A nice little reach in between. Give me five more here. I'm gonna go into that twist. And last one. Take that arm up, soft bend in the elbow, elevate that leg, and we're just going to twist, reach it through. So really engaging the abs and obliques there. Reach it as far as you can. So you're just wringing everything out. Follow that hand all the way through and then extend it long at the top, opening everything up. I love the control in this move. I really like balance moves, actually. I might be alone in that, but I do like balance moves. Here's three. They're so good for the core. And two. Last one, bring that foot down, pick your poison when it comes to side plank. So either the full side plank or that modified version, you're either circling it or piking butt up. Reach for ankle, hello again side plank. Reach for ankle, hello side plank. So just in and out with it.
four more here. Keep it strong. It's a lot for that shoulder as well, but hey, it's multitasking. Last two. And one, we'll hold on to that side plank for four, three, two, one. And release it down. Again, just give the wrists a little shake out. Whoo, shake out the shoulders. And then we'll finish it nice and strong here. So sit back on your mat, legs in front here. Knees are going to be bent, feet about hip distance apart. Whoo, arms at the sides here. I want you to start nice and easy with a little tiny crunch. If the lower back is a concern, take one of those little tiny Pilates balls, put it at the base of the spine. It's just gonna give you a little bounce. But we're all leading with the chest here. So little tiny lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to take it to the side, come back through center, over to the other side. So here now, we are getting into those obliques. Little twist. Every time you go to the side, press forward into it. Roll back through center, press to the side, roll back. Push side, roll back, push side. Remembering to breathe. Keeping it nice and strong here. Chin is lifted. Thinking long and beautiful for six. Last two, and one, bring it back through center. Now we're gonna get a little crazy. I want you to pull the feet in. You can of course stay there with feet down, so if you wanna modify, but otherwise I want you to bring the knees in, lift up to a half boat here, release the hands, hands in front, Russian twist. So you're just gonna twist elbow back, elbow back. So modified version, feet down, elbow back, elbow back. But notice, the hands will stay more or less in front of the chest here. You're not just doing side to side with the arms. It's not gonna do anything. Make sure that you are twisting from the waist. You'll know if you are, you'll feel it. For eight. And four, three, two, one, good. Take it down here, and then we've got final, final little finale, final finale. A little bit repetitive, but okay. That's where we're gonna go with hands in front here. I want you to twist, so it's gonna be a little bicycle twist from that half boat. So opposite elbow toward opposite knee, twisting the chest, and twist, and twist. If you're modifying, just go back to that little modified Russian twist. If you are here, I want you to go for it though. <sighs> Slow and controlled. Squeeze navel in, nice and tight. Final eight. <sighs> Four, three, two, one. And bring the feet down. Woo, sit up into it. So that is your nice, quick, quick, dirty mat Pilates routine for sculpted abs and obliques. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. If you still have some more fuel in you, you wanna work out some more, be sure to check out one of my other videos. You can do one of my other targeted videos or um, I don't know, something a little bit more general. But be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not done so already. It helps me create more workouts and things, which is great for everybody. So please do that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.